One thing that often catches the eye of a common man regarding most of the ships is the bulb-like projection at the forward end of the ship, usually below the waterline. At some point of your life, you must have questioned yourself regarding the reason behind the presence of this structure. Well, since it generally resembles the shape of the bulb and always placed at the bow of the ship, it is known as a bulbous bow. In this video, we will see why we need a bulbous bow and how it helps the ship. But before watching the explanation, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notified for all the future videos. When a ship surges, it generates its own Kelvin waves, which is both gravity driven and non-dispersive. Now consider a ship with a straight bow for example, an ocean liner. As the ship surges forward, the water particles move towards the stern along the entire length of the ship and a pressure wave builds up at the foremost point of the ship, creating a swell at that point. This point is generally known as the stagnation point, where the instantaneous velocity of the water particle is zero. If you recall Bernoulli's equation, the pressure at a stagnation point will be higher. So pressure of the water particles at bow is higher, thus giving rise to the crest of a wave. The ship is pushing it ahead, but that displaced water has to go somewhere. So it flows back down the ship's side and this wave will keep flowing back all the way along the side of the hull. Now, the problem here is, it increases the drag of the vessel since the contact surface area has significantly increased. Due to this larger area, the fuel consumption of the vessel also surges. It is evident that we are wasting a part of the engine power in generating this wave which is creating additional resistance in the movement of the ship leading to higher fuel consumption. Now the question arises. What if this effect of wave making can be reduced? If yes, then how? So as a consequence, naval architects needed to devise a way to mitigate this wave making resistance. If we introduce another discontinuity below the waterline at the bow, in front of the stem, this discontinuity will itself give rise to another wave at its foremost point. Since the stem is still at the waterline, it will generate normal bow waves. What if, if we can design the shape and position of the discontinuity in such a way so that the bow wave and the wave created by that ship result in a destructive interference? Destructive interference is a phenomenon that occurs when two waves are 180 degrees out of phase, hence cancelling each other. Well, that is the principle behind the design of a bulbous bow. The destructive interference results in reduced wave making of the ship, which further reduces the wave making drag of the hull form. Wave making is a significant characteristic of finer hull form. That is why you notice prominent Kelvin waveforms in cruise ships, yachts, and naval cruisers. If you notice a bull carrier, or an oil tanker with fuller hull forms, it is evident that these hull forms do not show prominent Kelvin wave patterns. Why? Because the waterline width of the stem itself is so large, or in other words, the discontinuity in flow is higher so that the pressure rises to a level and the bow wave height exceeds the threshold up to which a wave holds its properties. In this case, the wave breaks right at the bow itself even before it travels along the ship's length. Now it raises the following questions. Are fuller hull forms more energy efficient in this respect? No. Do fuller hull forms have high wave making resistance? It is a no again. Do fuller hull forms have high wave breaking resistance? Yes. With this application, Bulbs were also introduced in bulkers and tankers to reduce their wave breaking resistance. 
In case of ice navigation, the bulb allows broken ice to glide along the hull with its wet side against the hull. The wet side of the ice having less friction reduces the overall drag on the ship. Another advantage of the bulbous bow is that they can be used in housing bow thrusters as can be seen in the modern ships with the thruster units. In naval ships that uses high frequency underwater acoustics like sonar, bulbous bow act as a protective housing in addition to its positive effects of drag reduction. Here are the different types of bulbous bow that are fitted on the modern seagoing ship.